question now for two minutes, Mr. Batten. Now, this uh, report has caused MEPs to receive thousands of emails from their constituents. Uh, the vast majority I have received have asked me to vote against it, or at least to vote for those amendments which would mitigate its worst effects. The only reason that we're having this vote at all tomorrow is because in July, UKIP MEPs and some others uh, invoked Rule 69C of the Rules of Procedure to make that vote happen. Now, otherwise, this report would have gone unopposed for negotiations to the Commission, and we would have been stuck with whatever came out of the legislative sausage machine. This report is another example uh, of the one-size-fits-all legislation to supersede national legislation uh, and laws, uh, and it will cause bigger problems than those they are supposed to fix. Now, of course, authors should have their works protected under fair and appropriate copyright laws, but this legislation is not the answer. The proposals have been widely criticised as a means of introducing censorship to the internet and social media, and it's been criticised by no less a person than Sir Tim Berners-Lee, the creator of the World Wide Web. Many people now rely on the media, alternative media, like Twitter, to learn things that they would n which are not reported in the mainstream media and which they would otherwise not see. This propo these proposals will also create a barrier for entry to entrepreneurs due to the difficult requirements for social media startups to comply with, and it will inhibit competition. We should not make it harder for people to publish material of interest to the public or restrict the ability of small voices to be heard. I urge MEPs to vote for the EFDD Amendment 87 to reject the proposal completely, and if that fails, at least to vote for those amendments that mitigate the worst effects of the proposed legislation. Thank you.